This is going to be a very quick video about my Diva Cup I just purchased. I did use Instead Cups before, but I guess in my mind it was still trapping some of the sperm. I don't know, but I'd been using them way before I started trying to conceive, and I love them. I just felt like um, maybe I would want to try the Diva Cups as well. So I went on their website, found out there was a local store here that found them. So I went and got one today because I'm very close to ovulation. But I'll do another video about that um, at another time. And I also have some other news to share with you guys, but I'll do that on another video as well because it's exciting, but I'm trying not to get excited about it because it's just one of those things you just don't want to disappoint yourself. But it is exciting for me, so I'll share that in another video as well. So here is my Diva Cup right here. I'm trying to hold it straight. I think I'm holding it perfect. So as you see, it's a number two on there. I don't know if you guys are all familiar with the Diva Cups, but if you're not, um, they have they come in number ones and number twos. So the number ones are for those women who are 30 and under, or has have never delivered a child vaginally or by C-section. Number two is for women who are over 30 and or have delivered a child vaginally or uh, by C-section. So I had to get this one. So as you see, it comes in this pretty, pretty box. I'm moving away from the camera, I'm sorry. This pretty box here, and um, it also has like a little pin or something in there, it looks like, right here. That's really cute. Um, also, I didn't have to get this, but I decided to get it because it's it, it has the same thing on it, and maybe I paid extra price for just the, the logo of Diva Wash, but this is Diva Wash. It can be used on your your face, body, and for the Diva Cup. It is concentrated. It wasn't that much extra. It was like $11.99, so you only use a little bit. I figure it'll last me a while. I only plan to use it for the Diva Cup to wash it. Um, so that's that. Okay. That's the Diva Watch. So I'm going to go ahead and open this, and I wanted to show you guys what this looks like. So I'll go ahead and open this now. Um, inside, and I've seen this on someone else's video too, um, when they were discussing like the difference between the Moon Cups and the Diva Cups, which they're pretty much the same. It's just some minor differences but it comes with this cute little bag and it says Diva on it you can see that as well so I guess this is for storage for you to store the Diva Cup it comes with this little pamphlet here on how to I think the moon comes the moon cups come with a more like like a bigger pamphlet but this one still has more information in several different languages so I think people like that more and here is the, oh, it does have a pin in there, this little, this little pin thing right here. And here is the Diva Cup. Okay. So this is, this is just like the Instead as, as far as the concept of it being a menstrual cup, okay. Um, this one is larger, so don't get freaked out, ladies. It is larger because it is the number two. The number one is smaller. <laughs> so from what the box says, you fold this in half like that. I can't do it. I've never used this before. And you plop it up there, and you it pops out. And it will hold the spermies up there for a while if you have to, like, get up and go to work after baby dancing. The one thing I like about these, if you can see um, on the box right here in the diagram, it doesn't have to go that far up into the vaginal cavity. You can see that. So you don't have to stick it up that far. That's what I really like about this and why I decided to give this a try over the instead cup. Um, I don't know if I have any instead cups on me, but I will check. Okay, so I'm all out of soft cups, but <laughs> the instead soft cups, but I did find the box. 
and they look like this. And I wanted to bring the picture on so that you could see um, generally what they look like and that way you can see the big difference between them and the Diva Cup. So this is a bigger photo of it. That is an instead cup. An instead soft cup. Sometimes it just says soft cups on the box. But as you can see it has that little that ring around it right there and you fold that just like her hand is you fold that ring and you insert it now my thinking is that somehow you know sperms will get trapped up under like the little ring where you know on the edge or something like that so that you won't get it off and it has to go up quite far in uh, the vaginal canal so that's that's why I prefer um, I'm, I think I'm going to prefer the deeper cup rather again you just fold it in half like so like so it will look like that and then you put it in there and it pops open and then all the like it's suction so all the sperm will stay in there and hopefully you'll get your BSC. So this is, I'm very excited, like I said, I'm very close to ovulation, which I'll break all that down for you guys in another video, but I'm very excited to use this little thing. I'll probably um, put some pre-seed in it. I'm, of course, I'm going to use pre-seed as well for myself, um, but I'll also probably put a little bit in here uh, before I insert it. So wish me luck, guys. If you have any questions, um, on where I got it or any other questions about the moon cups and set cups, soft cups, just uh, comment me and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Have a good day, guys. Bye.